CIE Math Solutions. In this video, we will explore the derivation of the formula for the nth term or general term of an arithmetic sequence. Welcome to another video of CIE Math Solutions. In the previous video, we have studied the basic concepts of arithmetic sequences or arithmetic progressions. The playlist containing this video together with other related videos can be found on the link above this video or in the description below. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon for you to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you have already subscribed, please watch, like, and share the videos of the channel. In this video, we will explore the derivation of the formula for the n term or general term, a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d of an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression. But before we proceed, let us recall the basic concepts, terms, and notations used for arithmetic progressions. Let us consider the sequence containing 20, 24, 28, and 32. The numbers or objects in the progression are called terms, and it is usually denoted by an. n is the order of the term. For example, in the progression, a1 is the first term which is 20 a2 is the second term which is 24 a3 is the third term which is 28 a4 is 32 which is the fourth term the distinguishing characteristic of an arithmetic progression is the common difference this is usually denoted by letter d we can get the value of the common difference by subtracting consecutive terms in this case 24 minus 20, or 28 minus 24, or 32 minus 28, that means our common difference is equal to 4. Take note that you can have any pair of these consecutive terms. It will still give us the common difference which is 4. For any arithmetic sequence, there will always be a specific rule relating to the terms of the sequence. We know that the general term of an arithmetic sequence is given by a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a n is the nth term or the general term, the a1 is the first term, n is the rank or order of the term, and d is the common difference of the sequence. The question now is, where did this come from? How can various arithmetic sequences be generalized to have this nth term? Let us explore the derivation of this formula for the nth term of an arithmetic progression using an example. Let us consider the sequence containing 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. In here, a1 is 3. a2 or second term is 5. A3 is 7, A4 is 9, and A5 is 11. To find the common difference of the arithmetic sequence, we need to subtract any of those consecutive terms. We can have then the common difference to be 5 minus 3, 7 minus 5, or 9 minus 7, or 11 minus 9. Any of these will give us the common difference. In this case, the common difference is equal to 2. Now let us take a look at the details of the progression and summarize it in a table. Our first term, which is a1, that is equal to 3. Our second term is equal to 5. We can get the second term by adding the common difference to the first term, that is 3, which is the first term, plus the common difference, which is 2. 
we can then rewrite 5 as 3 plus 2. If we have the third term, which is equal to 7, we can also rewrite it using the previous term plus the common difference. The previous term is 5, which is 3 plus 2. And we add the common difference, which is 2. So we have then 3 plus 2 plus 2 for the third term. For the fourth term, that is equal to 9, we can also add another common difference or 2 from the previous term. Having 3 plus 2 plus 2, that is 7 from the previous term, plus 2, which is the common difference. And lastly, for the fifth term, which is 11, we can also add the common difference to the previous term. The previous term is 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Then we add the common difference, which is also 2. Looking at the third column, the numbers added are all 2s. We can then summarize the added number in each of them as a multiple of 2. So then we can write 3 plus 2, where we know that there is only one 2, then we can rewrite it as 3 plus 1 times 2, 1 denoting the number of 2 added. On the third term, there are two 2's added. So we can then rewrite it as 3 plus 2 times 2. The fourth term is 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That means there are three 2's added. We can then summarize it as 3 plus 3 times 2. On the fifth term, we have 3 plus 4 times 2. On the last column, the first entries are all threes, which is also the first term. The last entries of the column are all twos, which is also the common difference. Now since we are forming a general formula for the sequence, we can relate the number multiplied to 2 to the order of the term. In the second term, a2, the number multiplied to 2 is 1. In the third term, the number multiplied to 2 is 2. In the fourth term, the number multiplied to 2 is 3. And in the fifth term, the number multiplied to 2 is 4. Did you notice a relation between each pair? If you look closely at the numbers, the order, for example, in the second term, the order is 2, and the number multiplied to the common difference is 1. And if you look at the third term, the order 3, the number multiplied to the common difference on the last column is 2. In each of these cases, the number multiplied to the common difference is always 1 less than the order of the term. If the order is 2, 2 minus 1, 1 is the number multiplied to the common difference. The same case for the fifth term. If the order is 5, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 4 is the one multiplied to the common difference. If then we want to find the general formula of the term of, of an arithmetic sequence, we can then have a n, which is the general term denoting that a n is the n term of the sequence. Then we can have then the 3 still, which is the first term a1, plus 1 less than the order of the term, that will be n minus 1, multiplied to the common difference, which is d. So a n then is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. We have just shown the n term or the general term of an arithmetic progression. The n term then is a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d, where a n is the n term, a1 is the first term, n is the rank or order of the term, and d is the common difference. Question for today is, using this formula for the n term of an arithmetic progression, how can we find the specific terms of the progression or sequence? If you have answers to this question, you may write them down on the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will discuss how to find the specific rule for the n term of an arithmetic sequence. For more videos on math proofs and derivations, 
math tutorial videos, solve items from international exams, math tricks and puzzles, math resources and more. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your continued support to CIE Math Solutions.